All right, the piece that I'm gonna do for you guys tonight is called Hero. It is actually the very first piece that I ever wrote. Funny enough, so. All right, let me get ready, I've been drinking. <laughs> that means that nothing inappropriate is ever gonna come out of my mouth. <laughs> <clears throat> So naughty, he get you for that later. You are the very last drop of an exquisite, full-bodied crimson wine. And it's time, it's time that you know that like a kitty book, I, I love to read you. I love to close my eyes and drag my fingers down your soul, deciphering weight measuring substance. Your tortured moan is my sustenance. The cadence of your voice alone guides me home and, and the butterflies in the stomach, they fill me with a frenzied brush of downy wings. I mean, <laughs> God, make me think all kinds of irreverent things. Those petite tumbling wonders, they dip and soar, literally intoxicated on the unspoken promise of your rapid heartbeat, which in itself is a feat because when you touch me, I can barely stand on my own. Two feet, that is. Without your uh, palm to the small of my back, that is. And um, my cheek hard up against the wall. Hot breath stirs sensitized skin and I'll take you in. And in return for this blissful haze, I'll, I'll spill out formal words for days while midnight's sharp inhale at the impending morn. Let's fall her ebony gown and foreplay with the sun. I will grasp calloused hands so tender. Your lips part with a secret smile and our bodies will tell the story that our lips shall not defile because your half crooked grin makes me dizzy and it sears straight to my center. You're like my very own personal satisfaction mentor. So let me be the voice backed by the dawn that drips unspeakable beauty right on down your awakening sky before sleep starts sucking gently on our brains and we lose our how, our where, and our why. And darling, I'm spun. Like a rogue planet out of orbit, I'm dazed by your brilliance and set alight. I am I'm wound up so tight that if I were a bit more brave, I might say, uh, I might say, you've given my heart a stutter. You've branded each and every one of my hidden places with a name that I utter while whispering and whimpering into the shadows of our room. So baby, baby, let's spoon and I will tell you about how the smug in your smile begs for the tracing of my tongue in a while. I'm gonna light your insides on fire. I will lift you up higher and higher and higher until finally we glimpse comet glow and I know you are the only man I would follow. The only man who could ever fill this aching hollow with the heart of a hero and the patience of a saint. Thank you. Mm.